What's going on, everybody? Justin Thomas here from Top Shelf Phantom. If you've not subscribed, please make sure to do so. And this is going to be a quick news update. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already. It was sent to me early this morning. I'll link the article below, but this is about the House of the Dragon. This is the HBO prequel series, a spinoff, you could say, for Game of Thrones. So what we've known so far about the House of the Dragon is that it was greenlit for a full series commitment by HBO, that it's going to start filming in about 2021. The working title for this is Red Gun, again, cannot emphasize this enough please do not start going and analyzing what red gun means the same with blood moon working titles are meant to deceive they're meant for very practical reasons to get people away from filming locations and so forth i will put a list of working titles for very famous films and television series that will kind of give you the idea of how silly it is really to kind of uh, speculate about this it may be if it's fun it's fun it is not a very rewarding endeavor. So what we're going to be talking about here is the macro sense of what this means when I get this casting news. First off, the characters in which we're talking about here are very, very interesting, intriguing, layered characters, characters we want to know about. I really want to emphasize in this video the importance of the casting in which they're doing and what this means for our story, because we have now a story. So what I want to do is quickly go over the difference between events and story. Events are not story. Before we knew that House of the Dragon was going to at least start with the beginning of the Dance of Dragons, that is the Targaryen Civil War. That's a very cool concept. That is awesome. So that is like saying you have a concept for a story that's going to be about the sinking of the Titanic. Let's just use this metaphor for whatever it's worth. The Titanic is going to sink. So now whose story is it? Well, this is the metaphor again for whatever it's worth. Just getting this news. We have now our Jack and our Rose and a few others meaning we have the perspective in which the story will be shown through we have our characters we have our actual story there's a big difference between trying to tell a story that is going to depict events and telling a story because the story is who is involved in these events and who's that story through you could have a number of different characters now we figured that we'd probably see Rhaenyra Targaryen and Alicent Hightower Alicent Hightower is the second wife of Viserys and then Rhaenyra is the heir apparent because he had no success in his first marriage having kids. But we also have the injection for the casting of Damon. That's right, the rogue prince. So this is very significant because, yes, this is a story about the Targaryen Civil War. Just look at all the Civil War stories that we've seen, for better or worse, and tell me whose eyes they've been through. You have events and you have story. You don't have a story until you know whose eyes you're showing these events through and how it affects them. So Rhaenyra Targaryen and Alicent Hightower with the injection of the rogue prince. George R.R. R. Martin's favorite Targaryen. At least he'd said so many times in interviews. This is very exciting. I am not going to get into all of the lore. That is not really what I'm about. I really love it personally. I'm going to recommend a friend and one of the best in the business. I'm going to recommend that you go to Gray Area's channel and she's going to be having some long night juice that's going to be served up. Go into all the details and the lore because she has a lot of fantastic videos and she just honestly is a better medium to go through for this type of information. I can reminisce about everything I remember from this book. I can tell you what the wiki says about all these events but that's not really what this channel is about i'm telling you why this matters and why this is a big vote of confidence for the series this is very exciting because we now have perspective we now have a story you have your jack and rose and i don't don't go and analyze that and think that one is jack or one is rose anything like that but just think the titanic is sinking that's an event the house of the dragon before was a targaryen civil war that is a event that is not a story the story is what's going on with Nera. What is going on with Renera Targaryen? What is going on with Alicent? What is going on with the rogue prince? He has this essence of Jamie within him. He has this rogue status where he has all these swords, all these excellent, excellent insights that they look like they're going to dive into, which will be the preamble or the first salve, at least, of this civil war. I am here to tell you that this is actually big news and this actually matters. I was on the Age of Heroes uh, panel. I was very grateful to be on it. Thank you, Crow Foods Daughter, for inviting me. I was very excited to be on that panel, but in no way did I, did I believe that that was going to be greenlit. When you look at House of the Dragon, first off, it, it, it just works on so many levels. Now that we've got in our POVs, essentially, now remember this is a visual medium, but still we're seeing the story through the eyes of Rhaenyra and Alicent, okay? and Damon. So we have our three main, at least from what we know right now, but you know that they're cooking 
with some heat here. They've got some fire. They're now cooking. They got it going. They have a story, not just how do we tell the story of these events? Uh, no, they, they have it. So they're casting. They're going to start filming in 2021. This is excellent news. Age of Heroes that was never a viable option in my opinion it was too disconnected you're showing mythology in a way that just doesn't work brand the builder is better left alone and better left in the myth not to show exactly how brand the builder built all these things that he couldn't possibly build or garth the green hand or even land the clever or any any of these characters in which were being um supposedly pitched to be depicted and that is why that series failed and that's why that we it is very important to know the difference between having a series that is greenlit to series to have a a concept that gets greenlit to series so we get a for sure 10 episodes but it's even more important to know that those 10 episodes are looking as of right now like they're going to be good george rr R. martin's favorite targaryen is going to be heavily featured in this so you know not only do you have the lore in which Go to Gray Area's channel. She's going to have that long night juice for you, and you'll get all the information you need. But also, think about the stories that he's been telling himself in his head for the last almost 20 years, right, about Damon. He, he has so much passion for this character that you just know it's going to come off on screen. This is a good void of confidence right here. This is awesome. And then you have your two main players. You've got your Alicent. And with her son, Aegon, so she might come off as a little bit of a Cersei character. Catelyn in the sense of you're seeing a son through, through the eyes of a mother um, as of right now. Again, these aren't direct correlations. It's just the way in which they're going to depict our story. This is very exciting stuff. And mostly what they're doing is there's actually a story now. They're casting. They're going to be filming in the UK. And they're going to get this thing going. Uh, like I said, Gray Area is going to have a more lore-centric and, and get you even more excited for this actual story and the details about why these characters are so important. But I cannot stress enough, guys, how important it is to have characters in perspective actually laid out for your story. We went from concept to conceptualization of that concept. Now, we have a series now. Whether it's going to be good or bad, I'm betting on good right now. All signs point to good. And hey, that's something great to say right now. My name's Justin Thomas. This is Top Shelf Fandom. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon.